Let me show you what I've been up to today. I apologize for the shaking. I'm still using my phone as a camera. I try to put an anti-shake filter on as much as possible. Anyway, this is what I've been working on today. That's what I talked about in my last video on the lift. We've got these pieces welded across the top, across the bottom, both ends tied in to the angle on that. They come up right along the tire. There. There. And right now, both of these are loosened up. It's sitting just on the front and the jack at the moment. And it is rock solid. I could work on it just like that if I didn't feel like putting the straps on. What's best is that it will actually hold the bike without the jack. Not as secure. The jack definitely adds a lot. And it's not... Unfortunately, my fab skills are not what they're supposed to be yet, so it's not completely straight up and down. It leans slightly when it's in those. Part of it is my fab skills. Part of it is that this was not actually square on there. I ended up beating it with a hammer to even get it as close as it is. But... Oh, and the uh, plastic handle that comes on these little plastic knob is just pressed onto this. And when I was attempting to, to remove it, it broke off. So, I mean, I was unscrewing and the thing freaking broke. It's in pieces somewhere around here. There's some more pieces over there that it broke off later to right off under the stool there that I haven't swept up yet. It broke off later as I was attempting to clean this off so I could weld this on. And that's okay, because I actually like this better. It allows me to you know, let's see if I can secure it again with the straps. And then we'll, uh, I'll show you. I'm not going to loosen this thing until I'm sure that the bike is balanced. Okay. Now that those are on good, it gives me this kind of leverage so I can get a good twist on it, which the other did not. It also allows this for the initial in and out. Just like that. This is the actual piece that the plastic was pressed onto, so. I just welded directly to it. Clean the plating off. Welded straight to it. I can get some real leverage on this thing. That's all I have to do is ride the bike up in there, hold it vertical long enough for me to do this with one hand. I can balance the bike. And then she's locked in tight as can be. She's not going anywhere. So that's the first modification to this thing. Let's see if I can put this ramp down the way it should be. Just kind of goes in. I don't know if you can see. Uh, pins. Lighting's really bad. There's a hole right under that pin. Just like that. That's really all there is to it. I just gotta pick up some paint and paint that. And then, uh, and now I gotta clean up my mess and go home. I just wanted to show what I did there. You know, and it's not the world's most beautiful welding job. That's for sure, but it's getting better. 
I'm getting better. And I also, before I paint it, I will put some caps on the front and back end just to finish it off. Make it look a little more professional. I may cheat and see if I can find some plastic in the cups like they use on furniture rather than weld some on there. But that's it for today, I think. Clean up, go run some errands, go home and cook dinner. So, have a good day, YouTube.